rednecks. Today I'm going to be making some dandelion jelly. Come with me to come pick some. Alright guys, now we are just getting the yellow part of our dandelion and putting it in a bowl. I am going to be really slow at this. This is, It's okay to get a little bit of the green parts in there, but try to, as much as you can, just get the yellow parts. You're going to want to have about a whole cup of these um, yellow dandelion flowers measured out by the time you're done. guys I got my about one cup of dandelion flowers here I'm just going to put them in my pot and pull that out now I'm going to add two cups of water to this I'm gonna make a mess My fingers got a little yellow. Anyway, I'm going to turn this on about medium high. I'm going to get a wooden spoon here and stir it up a little bit. And as it gets warmer, I'm gonna start pushing the flowers actually down in it. I did forget to mention that if you are going to, or if you are planning to make this, the sooner that you can get these dandelions, the better, because as the um, summer wears on, the flowers tend to be a little bit more bitter. 
So if you're going to make this, go out there as soon as you can. Get some, make it. But we are going to let this come up to a boil. And I'll catch you guys here in a minute. Once this starts boiling, you just want to go ahead and let it boil for three minutes. Alright guys, once this has boiled for your three minutes, you just need to strain it out in a sieve or if you got a cheesecloth, strain it out in a cheesecloth. Try to get as much dandelion out of your pot as possible. It's going to stain your pot. It'll be stained for a little while, but it'll wash right out. This liquid, liquid that is left over, it's kind of yellowish in color there. You're only going to want to reserve three fourths of a cup of it. So if I can get this good, we'll put this back on the heat, except for I'm gonna turn it down because it's not got nothing in it. I'm gonna do it over this just in case I spill it. To your three quarters cup of reserved liquid, you're going to want to add three teaspoons of pectin. This is just the sure gel pectin. One tablespoon of lemon juice, fresh if you have it. And then just a couple drops of your vanilla, which I'm going to try not spilling the whole thing in here. That was three. It'll be alright. And just stir this again try wiping off some of your petals it doesn't matter if you have some of your flowers left in there but just stir it again and let it come up to a boil once it comes up to a boil let it boil that's not right once it comes up to a boil add one and a half cups of sugar and then let it boil for another three minutes Alrighty guys, it has came up to a bowl, so we are going to add our one and a half cups of sugar. Alright, we are going to stir this in here. Let it come back up to a boil and boil for three minutes. Guys, if you could smell this, it smells so good. Alright guys, three minutes later after I added the sugar, 
it's just time to go ahead and start putting it in jars. Now's when I start worrying if my jars are still hot enough to handle the heat from this. And it doesn't ever really make a whole lot. It says that it makes four of the little bitty um, four ounce jelly jars. I'm going to make another batch with this, but y'all get the gist of how to make it. So I'm not gonna make you watch me do another round. You can um, water bath this. If you do, just water bath it for 10 minutes. Ours is just going to go into the refrigerator because we're gonna go ahead and eat it but wipe your rims off I know there's two there damn it I'm not gonna fight with it And that's what you're left with, this really pretty looking yellow jelly. It tastes a whole lot like honey. It's really good. Y'all should try it. Um, also, if you don't want to make another batch with your reserve liquid, you can just make like a dandelion tea or whatever you want to with it. Dandelion related. Um, I think that's all I got for y'all today. I love y'all. Like, share, subscribe. Bye. <laughs>